I'm going to model this uh, Harry Potter time turner. I haven't seen anybody do that. And uh, it should be pretty straightforward to do. So I think relative beginners uh, could do this. Um, I think what I'll do, though, is I'll use probably this image uh, in, in the background to sort of uh, get some of the dimensions and trace some of it. So any uh, image that I, I use in the modeling, I'll, I'll link to, and some of them just might be for reference. Okay, so um, here's what we'll do. Let's delete everything and let's look from the front. And let's bring in a, uh, let's see, where, where is it? Image, an image as plane. And find that, which one is it? There it is. And I'm going to set my move tool on. Go look dev and rotate x90. So we can see the image there. And I'm just going to press G and sort of roughly, roughly center. It's not, it's not perfect. Um, I'm going to set my origin to the 3D cursor. And we'll just... Uh, We'll just go ahead and start bringing in some stuff. So let's bring in a circle. I'm going to go for 22 vertices. Rotate X90 and scale it down. And what I'll do is I'll get roughly that and then I'm going to grab the plane and I'm going to move it. So I get that. Okay, we're just we're going to have some fun here. So it's not going to be exact. Um, up here, I'm going to choose that and the arrow there so that I can make my uh, background not movable so I can select my circle. Okay, I'm going to shift D and I'm going to scale it out to that size. Shift D, scale that one out to that size. So I just want three concentric circles. Okay, uh, I'm going to select them all, go into edit mode. Then I'm going to try just to E and S and bring them in. And they're not all going to be the same thickness. That's fine. It's going to be some, that kind of thing. I select them all and scale them out a bit more. Maybe I'll select my background again. And I can't really see the other stuff now. We'll pull this back a bit. There we go. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's hide that. Never mind that. So this is what I've got. I just want to have another look at this. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. So the way it goes is this one looks like it's a little bit thicker than this one and then, and then that. So I'm probably okay like that. So I'm going to select it all. Go into edit mode and look from the side 3E e, and give this some thickness. Like that. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to bring it back to around the middle. And that's my start on that. Okay. All right. Cool. So, uh, with it all selected, I'm going to go back to just typical mode there. I'm going to go Control A and apply scale in case I needed to. All right. Back in edit mode and um, edge selection, I'm going to Shift Alt and click all of these top edges here and all of these bottom ones here. We're going to bevel those. Control B, I'm going to pull, and I'm going to put in, so we'll try one segment, and then Control 2, and Shade Smooth. And hopefully that should be good enough for that. Okay, let's come into here, and let's... Um, Let's shift alt and click that edge and copy it. Shift D and P to break it out. 
reselect that piece, turn off the subdivision surface, oh, and select it. Let's see if I can get that, hide that one, get that one. I'm going to edit mode and just F to make face. And um, I'm going to come out, deselect, and uh, Alt H, bring everything back. Let's hide this background layer again, take this, look from the side and in wireframe, just pull it roughly into the middle. We'll use that later on. Now, I may have to scale that up a little bit just to make sure it fits. Okay, cool, so we got this. Let's go back into look dev now. Um, let's have a look at, so I'm going to do those, these things are kind of like, not that one, which one, I don't know, kind of like these here, similar to this, so I'm going to do something like that for that middle piece, in fact I might want this one thicker than these, I'm not sure if they are supposed to be or not. Just um, this here. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be. I don't think I'll do that right now. Okay. Just thinking. Yeah, so like I was saying, all right, so at any rate, let's do something here. I got my 3D cursor right in the middle. Let's bring in a, um, what? Let's bring in a cylinder. Let's make it 18 and nothing. Go to edit mode and scale it down. Press the period key to zoom in. I can hide the background now. Just want to make sure that it's going to fit. And I see that I have some clipping here. And so I'm going to press N, go to View, and change this to 0 0.0001. So I'll never get that again. Okay, so I've got that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Control R to put an edge loop there, Control B. And um, let's just try, uh, put on proportional editing, and let's S, and let's roll my mouse wheel in, make a smaller circle, and let's just try this. Just want to get a bulge like that. Let's turn that off. And let's grab this and extrude it down a bit. Let's take the whole thing, shift D, rotate Y 180, pull it down. Okay, and then I'm going to take both of these and control E bridge edge loops. And uh, maybe I'll take this and scale it in a bit. I'm going to scale the whole thing in the Z. Actually, I may need to get it to fit. I'm going to scale the whole thing up. And I'm going to control 2. Okay, now I'm going to make some changes to this. Uh, and wireframe. And do this kind of a thing. is okay. There we go. Now 
that's what I'm going to use for that piece. Okay, now, uh, my 3D cursor is right in the middle, so I'm just going to go Shift D, uh, rotate Y 180, and put that down there. Let me double check that I am on the right track. So I got one on each side there. Okay. So those are going to go there. And then I'm going to take these and uh, actually I'm just going to take one. Shift D and rotate Y90. And it's going to come out in that area. Okay, like that. And I'm going to set the origin back to the 3D cursor and I'm going to Shift D rotate. Uh, what am I doing? Y180. And put it on the other side. Um, I just want to make sure that they fit, so I think I'll take all of these and scale these in the Y a little bit. Now let's go back and have a look. So these are the pieces that I just made. Like that. Okay. Let's save this. Um, Harry Potter Time Turner video. And this is probably going to be video one. And I want to do a nicer thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Shift D. I'm going to bring it over here. So I have another copy of it. And I'm going to rotate Y90. It's a little messed up. So I have that piece sort of sticking up to the top. Okay. And I'm going to make it so I can't select it. And I'm going to bring in a plane. There it is. Rotate X90. G. And it's going to bring it up here. And I'm going to press 1 to go into Vertex. And Alt M. Merge and Center. I just want that one point. And bring it over. And I bring it up, and I'm getting it roughly in the middle of this. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go E and G, and I'm going to come out, E and G, and I'm going to roughly trace the profile in E and G. And then we can uh, make some adjustments. E, and I'll come up. E and G, E and G, E and G. I know there's other ways to do it. I just like doing it this way. G. Then I'm going to come in like that. E and G, E and G. And that's all I'm going to do. Okay, now what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to take that and just set the origin of geometry first of all. And I'm going to set uh, actually the origin of the 3D cursor. And I'm going to uh, set geometry uh, to the origin. Let's hide this again. And this, and there's my little piece. Period. You can zoom in. Look from the front. Okay. I'm gonna move this out so that it's opposite this Z axis here. And I'm going to add modifier screw, but change this to Y. And I am going to do this. That's better. Pull it like that. Subdivision surface, I'll go for two. And then just look at this. And I can just grab these points and move them around and get a nice shape that I like. And I'm okay, it's such a small detail anyhow. Okay, so I'm going to come back to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, apply on the screw modifier. And then I'm going to uh, select shift alt and click there. And I'm just going to grid fill and let that be the way it is. And that's going to be it. And then what we'll do is uh, look from the front. I'm going to set uh, the geometry to origin. Uh, let's uh, set uh, 
sorry, set the origin of the 3D cursor and set geometry to origin. Okay, and I'm going to rotate Y90. Pull this out. Let's bring this uh, diagram back and just have a look at the relative sizes of these things. I'll hide that. And uh, let's hide that. Yeah, it does. It does go over the ends. Let's bring everything back. So I'm probably okay. Maybe it's a bit big though. Maybe I'll scale shift X a little bit, just like that. Okay, let's go back to here. Let's hide all that stuff. Look from the front. So I got that. Let's. Um, that's on the middle piece at the origin of geometry and well, the cursor's right in the middle. Okay, so let's grab that and let's set the origin to the 3D cursor and shift D, rotate Z 180. Put one on the other side. So hopefully those are, are okay. Like that. Let's hope. And then we need to do these uh, clips here loops where we can uh, attach a chain um, let's say geez, how do I want to do this <clears throat> what if I just bring in a Taurus even the default values are probably okay scale it down bring it up rotate X 90 scale it some more let's have a look at that I mean, that could work for us. Um, maybe I'll focus on that and look at the bottom of it. And in face selection, maybe I could grab all of these. And just hit I to inset a bit. And look from the front. E to extrude. Pull them down. X faces. And uh, shift on to click there. Scale Z zero to straighten it out. Control one is that enough? Let's alternate to bring that back. Is that too big? I think it might be. I'll just scale it. Let's look from the side though. Maybe I'll scale this in the Y. It can be like that shape. Just a little bit of it, just attaching like that. I mean, it could be like that, but. Be able to do it like that. Let's look from the front again. And um, the 3D cursor's right there, right? So um, if I set the origin to the 3D cursor, I should be able to rotate Y45, let's say, and Shift D, rotate Y90 uh, minus. You know, it's our own version of this. Let's get rid of uh, get rid of that. Okay. There's different styles. Some of them are just, you know, this is kind of the one that I had looked at earlier that looked a bit like a torus with a sort of a piece like that. So, so we got most of that. So what I'm going to do now is I'll bring that back. Um, let's actually hide everything and then unhide that. Look at that. I'm just going to trace this. Uh, but I think I want to make it a bit more central. So I'm going to take this and just move it so the, the the origin is kind of right in the middle of the hourglass thing. I'm just going to roughly make something. This will work. It should work anyhow. Uh, yeah, same way. Rotate X90. Go to edit mode. Make sure we're vertex. Merge those. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to come out to here. And E and G, E and G, E and G, oh, come on, E and G. And then I'm 
just going to come up and out a little bit. And here, I just want to come down a little bit. Okay, so I've got that. And then I'm going to do the screw modifier again in the Y. I'll put on subdivision surface. And my plan is to shift D, rotate X 180, and pull it down. Okay, like this. And we're going to join those in a moment, and then we'll adjust. So I'm going to apply the screw modifier on that one and on that one. And I'm going to join those, Control J, and then I'm going to edit mode. And I'm going to select that edge and that edge and go Control E, bridge edge loops. And then I will, let's go into wireframe. Let's grab these and we'll just scale them in the, let's just scale a little bit. So I got that. Let's take that and let's bring everything back. Let's hide that. Okay, so um, how I want to do this, I think what I'll do is I'm going to try just bringing this up. I think I may have it go like that. And so I'm gonna actually have to break this and, uh, and mirror it and uh, copy it again. I'm gonna go up to there. I'm gonna get, get rid of that. And I'm gonna take this Shift D. Uh, when we're doing rotate X 180, is that what I'm doing? I'm gonna bring it down. And I go to there. Yeah, this is going to be fine. We're going to join those up again. And then we'll uh, get the scale right. Let's get on a wireframe. Uh, control L. And we'll uh, G, Z, move it up. Okay. And I'll just do this. Uh, control E, bridge edge loops. I could choose to merge if I wanted to. Like that, that'd be fine too. And I would have that, and then I will, what will I do? I will center it roughly like this, and then we'll uh, just hit, um, let's just hit the scale Z. Oh, not quite centered. I do want to have some thickness, which it does, and I am happy with that, I think. And, oh, did I make this one thicker? I don't think I did, and I th think I now I'm going to scale this in the Y. That'll make the hourglass fit a bit better. I might put a little round piece or disc-like piece there later, but not right now. Okay, so we got that. So then what we would do is we would take the two of those. I selected the hourglass thing and, and that plane there, that circle. And I'm going to shift H just so I can just look at these things for a moment. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to find this guy. So that's circle three. No, that's circle three. And that thing here is plane three. This is going to be the hourglass. I'm just going to name that. I'm going to copy that. All right. And I hide the original. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to scale it bigger, and like this. Just to make a shape, so that I've got that one, and I've got that one. And I'm going to look in wireframe. Um, this one is the one I just did. And I want it, actually I'm going to scale this in the Z a little bit. And then in the X, I want a bit more width. That's going to be okay. All right, we're going to use this to cut. So let's hide that.
make this solid. We're going to cut this piece here now. So I'm going to select that piece and go to modifier Boolean difference. And with the eyedropper, I'm going to select the hourglass copy that I made. Apply. Take that, hide it, and you can see I've got that. So if I come back to my real hourglass, I've got some space in between similar to this, not exactly the same. And this one has a little disc up there and, and it's like this piece is enclosed. Whereas if I look at some of the other ones, you know, there's, there's different styles of these things. So yeah, that's the way I'm gonna do it for now. Okay, so this one here, hourglass, I'm going to delete. And I've got this. All right, so cool. Let's look from the side, go into edit mode. Let's give this some thickness. Something like that. And then uh, we'll look from the side again and we'll sort of center it up. And that's fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna hide that. So I've got this piece. And what I wanna do is I wanna cut some stars into this. Now there's different shapes of the stars as well there's this weird thing and there's the five point stars and there's these other circular kind of ones and there's many point stars i'm thinking i'm just going to do five point stars all right so the way i'm going to do this is i'm going to bring in a i'll go for a circle i'll make it 10 vertices rotate x90 and scale it down We'll start with that. Okay, I'm going to come in, in vertex, and I am going to choose every other point. And I'm going to hit S and scale it in. I want to do that kind of thing. Okay. And um, let, do I want to do something else? Let's uh, hit uh, select it all, F to make a face, uh, and let's give it some thickness. I'm going to want it pretty thick because it's going to cut through. So I'm going to make them real thick. And then edge selection, I'm going to select all the edges of the points there. Oh, come on, there we go. I've got all those. And then I'm going to control B to bevel. And I roll my mouse up to make it nice and round. And there we go. There's a nice little star for us. Okay, look from the front bring it over too big I'm gonna hit s to scale it down I just want to make sure it goes through and uh, yeah we're just gonna do this I'm gonna uh, just rotate shift D and G and I'm gonna bring them around scale them and rotate them and later on I can make sure that they're uh, going through shift D G rotate you see that one's not Let's scale that in the Y. There we go. Shift D G. Shift D and G. I'll just I'll just do them and then we'll just see. Uh, if they go through and all that kind of stuff. I don't know what that meant, all that kind of stuff. Well, it's not that much kind of stuff. Okay. Just to give you an idea, anyhow. Okay, now, man, do I need more? Could go for some more. Ah, 
right, well. Let's say that's what we wanted. All right, let's save. Um, I'm just gonna make sure they're through. And I'm actually gonna do one more up here. Uh, grab all of these selecting all the stars holding down shift and I'm gonna go control J that'll join them all together I'm gonna save and I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna select a piece here control L and I'm gonna delete that so I just have one half I can mirror it I'm gonna select what looks like a little moon here and I can choose add modifier boolean, leave it on difference, and select stars. Hit apply. Choose the stars and hit H to hide them for now. And I've punched my holes through. Alt H. I'm going to get rid of those stars. And let's look from the front. My 3D cursor is right there. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to copy it around the Z. Shift D, rotate Z 180. Well, let's just hide that. And this is what I end up with. Let's switch over to matte cap and this one right there just to get a sense of how this is going. Okay, so it looks pretty, pretty nice. Uh, there's not really that much else to do. All right, well, let's... Uh, Let's leave it at that for now, and we'll come back and see uh, about maybe putting some text on this and rotating them a bit and what we can do in there.